I don't normally come in with H Smith, but I just thought I would check out the like clearance outlet and look what I've just found. Hey guys, welcome back to Francesca's Books. My name is Francesca, these are my books, and today we're doing my favorite thing in the world, book shopping. I'm gonna take you with me on like a cozy book shopping vlog. It is a Saturday, so I'm hoping it's not gonna be busy but we'll see how we go. This is the fit guys, I'm now ready. I've obviously got my tote bag. I do already have one book and my Kindle in there, so I may have to bring a backup. <laughs> Does anyone else get in the car and then immediately realize they've forgotten the sunglasses? Your mind, you have it figured out. I've been your moves. My first stop guys, it's Costa, obviously. Um, drive through, obviously. Hiya, can I just get um, a vanilla iced latte please? Thank you. Have a nice Cheers, time. you too. Guess what I just found? Right, so the plan is I'm going to go book shopping, obviously. So I'm going to check out the works, of course, um, to see what they've got in this new. I haven't been in a little while. Um, so I'm hoping they might have some good new bits in. Um, and of course, I'm going to go to Waterstones. Uh, there's a couple of new releases that I'm after, guys. So I'm looking for Listen for the Lie by Amy. Some her surname is the T. And the other one is Murder Road by Simone St. James. So they both came out in March, but I know UK release dates are a bit, can be different to US release dates. So I'm just going to have to see. And then I'm going to have a quick look at the charity shops as well. Um, so it looks like I'm driving really far because I'm on the motorway, but I'm not. I've literally on this for two junctions. <laughs> it looks like I'm going on like a bit big adventure. So the main thing is I want to do today, I've taken out literally a £20 note. And this is all I'm allowed to spend, okay? So I'm going to get the best value for money of books I really, really want to read. And also, if I get a couple of charity shop steals, this is going to um, make me look like I've done better. But that is all I'm allowed to spend today, okay? Otherwise, I just go crazy. I just see the books. I see something I want to read. And like, literally, that is it. Oh my God. There's a massive Emirates plane coming to land. I live near Manchester Airport. Let's go. Honestly, I was a little bit disappointed in that works. I was definitely ready to spend my three for six pound. <laughs> um, but it's not as good as my like normal one, the selection. So I'm just going to buy for the sake of it. Um, there was a few new bits though, to be fair. I don't normally come in with H Smith, but I just thought I would check out the like clearance outlet and look what I've just found. BA Paris, four pound. To be fair, I actually forgot how good this W H Smith is. I won't lie, it is probably bigger than any Warstones I've ever been in. This is all just crime and thriller. They are all RRP, poor. This selection is very, very tempting. 
okay no let's not even consider it we've got a four pound sale it's not worth it unless we just get the sale books okay let's leave i'm about to change your life did anyone else know that hmv sell books for two for seven pound no let me show you Do you ever just sit in deep Louisiana in the blurb of a book and immediately just put it back because same? for coming book shopping with me in the end i just got the sisters by claire douglas and bring me back by ba paris i really really enjoyed the girls who disappeared by claire douglas and that is why i immediately bought this when i saw it because this was one of those books that actually has genuinely stuck with me i probably read it i read it in october not the one gone the one just before so a year and a half ago and i can still tell you exactly what happened so I am just a fan of this author, so I have no doubt that I love the sisters as well. This book follows Abby, who by the sounds of it, when her sister died, there was a lot of like secrets that were buried with her, obviously hypothetically. Um, and then she kind of moves on to a new life and then everything starts to come back up again. And then I recently finished The Therapist, which I absolutely loved. I still think there should be a petition for this to be called The Circle, but I really enjoyed it. I absolutely love Behind Closed Doors as well. So when I saw Bring Me Back, I immediately brought this back. <laughs> Both of these were not full price, so I'm very, very happy with that. So. Bring Me Back was £4 and The Sisters was £2. So I actually only spent £6, even though I'm book shopping all day, which I think is literally a miracle. Of course, I'll let you know what I thought of these books and I cannot wait to see you next time.